Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. I have some of the most bullish charts to share with you guys that are going to map out the price structure and how bullish the altcoin setups are going to be heading into this next cycle. I truly believe that the people that are positioning themselves right now, buying specific altcoins that are going to have themselves good cycles, are going to make so much money going into this next bull run because of the fact this next bull run is going to be something so different than anything we've ever seen before. If you're new and just find this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos like the one provided for you here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and with that being said, let's jump right into it today. Alrighty guys, so to start off today's video, what we're going to be covering right now is the dollar index. You guys already know, we've been consistently updating the US dollar chart because this is going to be the most important chart that's going to dictate whether or not crypto is going to be bottoming or not. Now here's the thing guys, when we're looking at this chart, you already know that we've been riding above the 50 day moving average on the daily. There has been a couple times where we've pierced below, we've always rebounded back to the upside. Now if you guys remember, in my last video, we were already reclimbing this moving average and we were starting to move back up to the upside. But what ended up happening was we got rejected at resistance once again. And we've actually sold all the way back down and closed back below the 50 day once again. Is this actually going to be the sign that we need to see for the breakdown of the dollar and the new bottom and the beginning of the new bull trend for Bitcoin and crypto? Or is this going to kind of be like one of these other attempts where we've peaked below but regained? Now, the big thing for you guys that you need to pay attention for, or at least the big thing I'm watching for, is this red trend line. And let's remove the moving average so it's a little bit easier to see here. This trend line, once we break down, if we break down, but if we can actually get, I mean, honestly, what I'm expecting is we'll probably bounce off of this. We'll retest this 50-day um, moving average once again, and that's going to be the decision point. If we are closing below as resistance, then that's ultimately going to spell that we're probably going to break down from this entire trend. And if we break down from this exact trend line, then that's the breakdown of a parabola, right? We've been in this parabola the entire way up. And so if we break down from this, that's gonna spell uh, our target would be an 80% correction from the top of this move. So we would target basically the 786, which would be about 94. I would say basically 93 to 94 on the DXY, which on the bigger time frames, if we zoom out, that's gonna be all the way back down here and somewhere of the mid to low point of this consolidation that we've been in basically since 2015 and 2016, right? And so I got, I really want you guys to remember here that what we've seen inside of the dollar is a big move up. This was the drop that created our 2017 bull run. This was the drop that t created our 2020 uh, to 2021 bull run. And the drop that's gonna be coming from this is gonna create the next bull run. And so if we're looking at a breakdown of this parabola and an 80% correction is our target, you know, this thing could come down really quick. It's hard to say, it'll probably just end up being something like this was or this one was and it'll come all the way back down to this level. It will be a similar correction as this one and this one, and for that matter, all of our prior uh, major bull runs inside of the equity markets. And so we're preparing for an amazing time if this breaks down. Big uh, reminder, if we could break down from that, which is why I wanted to get into some of these charts to share with you guys today. And the second one we're gonna be talking about today is actually gonna be the Bitcoin dominance chart. Now, one of the big things that I want you guys to remember here is what we're looking at is a big breakdown or the potential of a breakdown coming. We've been in about 550 days worth of this sideways consolidation. We've been in this range. We have this resistance here, we have the support here, and we've just been ping-ponging back and forth for basically the last year and a half. And so if we're looking back, I actually think that this is really similar to what we saw right before our 2020 bull run, or I should say the year was 2020, the very end of the year and the beginning of our 2021 bull run. But we went through the same sort of consolidation. This one was going a little bit more to the downside, but it was almost the same length of time. This one was 553 days, and that was right when we actually flipped back below this 50-day moving average, and it became resistance. That's what led to this massive 2021 bull run. That was when DeFi took off. That was when NFTs really started to kind of gain some traction. And throughout this period, I believe that this is distribution. Some people have been drawing it that this is going to break out and it's going to rally all the way back up to 60% because a lot of people believe that there's this thing where 
altcoins can't have a rally unless Bitcoin is sitting at 60% dominance. And I don't really know where that came from, um, but at the end of the day, what we're gonna see from this is pretty similar to what I think we saw in 2021. When we actually sold below this moving average and it became resistance, and that took us for that next leg down, I believe that we're getting ready for the same thing. When we couldn't rally back up and hold support of this 50 day in this move, and then we sold all the way back down to support, even though we've been rallying back to the upside, now that we're rejecting again, there's really no bullish thesis to be grabbed from this because all of our trending momentum indicators are showing that we're bearish. And so I'm expecting another drop to the downside. And ultimately, this will complete a big picture five wave impulses down. One, two, three, four, and then our next bull run will be the completion of a big picture correction heading into the Bitcoin dominance. And then obviously guys, if we look at this chart, this is the same as ETH versus BTC. And if we pull it up here, you guys will see. It's just the inverse. If I invert the scale, you guys will kind of see that it's just the same sort of thing. And so ETH BTC keeps breaking out. This is a long-term rounded bottom accumulation. This thing hasn't had a big cycle up. And so that's what I believe is heading for us. We're getting ready for a truly monumental alt season that is gonna be much more comparable to what we saw in 2017. Keep in mind that this first little impulse, in my opinion, is very similar to what we just saw in our last cycle. And what we're getting ready for is this next massive move into price discovery. We've been through you know, four years worth of this sideways rounded bottom. And we're just barely getting to the point where we should expect to see a big breakout into new all time highs. You guys got to remember that our entire last cycle was nothing even close to what we saw in 2017. True alt season is when the altcoin Bitcoin pairs are breaking out. Yes, there were certain altcoins that did do that, but those were altcoins that had never had a cycle. There was no sell side pressure. There was no previous bag holders to keep the market suppressed like there was with this market or any of the other 2017 altcoins. When we're comparing them, what we saw across the board with many of the 2017 altcoins was actually almost the exact same impulses that they made all the way back in 2016. And one of the examples I'm going to share with you is actually going to be taking us to this right here. Now, I am going to scrunch this a little bit so that my camera angle isn't blocking it. And we're going to take a look at what we're seeing right here. Because in my opinion, this is so important for what's going to actually happen for the long term as well as the short term for crypto. And many people are going to miss out on it because of it. Now, we're going to go back, guys. This is kind of a chart I've been updating you with a little bit, but I've never mapped out the entire Elliott Wave structure. And this is the altcoin total market cap. So remember, we're focusing in on altcoins right now because I believe the next cycle that's coming is about to be truly life changing. When you understand the wave count, when you understand the big picture market cycles, it gives you an idea of how to position yourself accordingly, when to take profits, what, how long are the cycles even going to go, and this is really going to explain it in a detailed way. Now guys, so this was our chain of events in our first cycle. Five waves up, ABC back down, and then we get these two impulses, and that's what takes us into that massive uh, 2017 alt run, right? Now almost the same thing happened in our last bear market. We had the ABC back down, ABC down, we start our five impulse waves up, followed by another correction. Same thing happened right here, right? And now our entire 2020, 2021 bull run, followed by our 2022 bear market, was literally the same as this cycle in here for the altcoins, right? And this was really Ethereum's first cycle. This was when Ethereum rallied to 21 bucks and corrected to six bucks down here. So this is really early in the cycles. And we saw almost the exact same market structure shared between these. When we saw our 2020 to 2021 bull run, we rallied just into new all-time highs, not very far, and then we started correcting back down. We made another move just barely past the top of our wave five, but I'm viewing our entire move to you know Bitcoin when it topped at 69,000 as a corrective move. That wasn't impulsive. That's not this type of a move here. It's not any of these type of impulse waves. It's literally a corrective structure. Our impulse happened and then we peaked in June, right? We peaked in the summer of 2021. So we ended up peaking prematurely than what we'd seen in other cycles. This one peaked at the end of the year. This one peaked at the end of the year. This one peaked in June. And even though we made another high that peaked at the end of the year, this was a corrective structure. It wasn't a true impulse. And so even though it still follows the same times, it was just 
just a little bit different in the way that it moved. And that's why I'm viewing our entire last cycle as the same thing as this first leg up into new all-time highs back in 2016, right? And now what we're looking at right here and what we're getting ready for heading into our next cycle is the same thing as this big box right here. This was our big move into 2017. This is where all of those OG altcoins really made their first moves. Ethereum made its first cycle. Bitcoin went from uh, basically like $200 to $20,000 in its leg up. And I believe that what we're getting ready for is the exact same thing. It's just going to happen a little bit differently, right? There's going to be more money involved. And so who knows how long it's going to take to create this big of a move. All I know is the move that's coming is going to be similar because we're getting ready for another wave three, right? This big move here, we're getting ready for another three wave impulse. And that's going to be the one that probably takes us into new all time highs and price discovery. And this is really important to understand because if we're ready for another one of these type of alt crazes, or at least another big cycle like we saw back in 2017, and our market structure is telling us the same stuff, then this next one is gonna be very profitable. And in my opinion, if we're positioning ourselves now, knowing what is about to take place, that's the way that we're gonna set us up, ourselves up to actually make that 100X or potentially the 1000X type of investment. Now guys, this last cycle was insanely profitable. I made a lot of money, my friends made a lot of money, my family made a lot of money, um, you guys made a lot of money as well. The one that's coming is going to completely dwarf our last cycle in comparison. And that's exactly what we've seen up to this point. When we're comparing our last cycles, um, it was nothing even close to what we saw in 2017, right? 2017 was something completely different. And unless you were all the way back into these points and investing in it and trading it and watching the markets, you'd really have no idea what it was truly like investing back in those times. Now, many people are going to argue the point and they're going to say, oh, well, Donovan, you know, that was all so long ago. The market caps were so minuscule. There's no way that we'll ever see anything like that. And maybe we could see something like that. You know, maybe the markets are dead. We'll never see the same type of uh, returns as, they, as we once saw the law of diminishing returns and all of that stuff. And while I do believe there will be some aspect of that, I still believe that it's important to understand where we're at in the cycles because where we're at in the cycles, yes, I mean, it's going to be smaller and we will see diminishing returns. But when you're comparing the returns of this move, comparing the returns to this move, obviously one's going to be bigger than the other. And so we can't say that, oh, the, the returns are going to just continue to be smaller because of the fact um, our last one was smaller. Well, what if our last cycle was just this first leg up? And the next one coming is going to be much more expansive like this. You guys got to remember that just because of inflation alone, I believe that that's actually going to enhance the size of the bull run. And we can continue to see these same type of moves to the upside because of the fact cryptos are more of a hard capped supply, right? They're not inflating. Well, some of them are, but the majority of them aren't hyper inflating like the dollar is. What we're seeing with crypto is more of a chart of hyperinflation taking place in the dollar. And so when we're talking about these, it's not impossible that we're going to see another major 20 2017 type of expanse. In fact, I would think it's likely that that's going to be the next move that's taking place because of how our market structure looks, because it looks so identical to 2016. Remember guys, it doesn't always have to play out the exact same way. But what it's telling me based off of our wave count is that the next move coming is still going to be a big picture wave five. Wave fives on the big picture, especially happening after, um, you know, multi years of an uptrend, I believe it's going to happen and it's going to be much bigger than people are anticipating. It's going to happen and there's going to be a lot of retail involvement that takes place. We're already seeing that. I mean, if you guys have been trading over the last couple of years, you'll know that there's been a big difference just in sentiment ever since our top here. <clears throat> meme coins have taken over and i'm already seeing meme coins taking off down here in their lows people are already focusing more on meme coins than they are talking about bigger cryptos like ethereum solana dogecoin dogecoin's a meme coin but still they're big uh, high market cap cryptos that have kind of proven themselves throughout the cycles and you're seeing people focusing more on these meme coins focusing more on the potential of getting that hundred or a thousand x move in my opinion what we're seeing is a reflection of the sentiment and with us getting ready for a big picture wave five and a blow off top and the very big picture top of a cycle it would make sense that a ton of retail investors would be here focusing in on meme coins because they're just trying to make a lot of money everybody's speculating right it's become more of a speculative market and while i believe that positioning yourselves into good fundamental investments projects that have real partnerships projects that are actively doing something inside of the crypto space right now or real economy 
Those are the best picks to invest in while we're at the cycle lows because when this move happens, they outperform the rest of the market. Now, I'm not saying that you can't go and buy that 1,000x meme coin that does its thing <clears throat> and there's going to be people uh, there's going to be people that do that. But I'm telling you guys that the best strategy is to focus the biggest majority of your portfolio in the things that you think are have the best fundamental use case for society or crypto. Those are going to be the ones that actually perform the best. And while you're never going to know all of them, you're going to miss out on some, you're going to buy some um, that actually don't perform as well as you expected. The vast majority of these, if you do, you do if you actually do do your research, you're going to make a lot more money. I was able to really make a lot of life-changing money in the last cycle. And going into this next one, knowing what I do now, I'm trying to give you guys the ideas so that you guys can actually go ahead and do the same things. I'm going to be talking about a lot more stuff on this channel, really covering specific altcoins, specific, uh, specific blockchains and networks, so that you guys know what is actually going to be the best um, different ecosystems to look into because that's kind of what I'm looking into for this next cycle. I made a lot of good money in the last one, but knowing what I know now after having experienced two cycles already, I'm really excited for this next one because I'm really putting together everything I learned and I want to be able to help you guys along the way as best as possible. I truly believe the next cycle coming is going to be one a lot more similar to 2017 in its own way. It will be unique in its own way in the same way every cycle is unique. Just because the market structure looks the same doesn't mean it's going to be 100% the same in price, but it will rhyme in a lot of varying degrees. And so what we're looking for is a huge move to the upside. A lot of profit will be made. A lot of millionaires will be minted in the simple process of being early to the show. So if you guys actually find your own ecosystems, you have your own investments that you've done research into, you really like, drop them in the comments. Let's inform enough people that we can really help as many people make that money that we possibly can because we're in the low point of the cycle. It's likely that we're not going to go lower than what we've been at for this period. As long as we clear 25,000 and a half, then that's really going to be the key that the new uh, all-time highs are going to be destined and we're going to be setting up for a big move back to those previous all-time highs before any sort of correction takes place. So prepare ourselves, drop them in the comments if you guys got good picks low cap gems, high cap cryptos, it doesn't matter. We're all just trying to learn from each other. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you found value in this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these basic videos. If you guys want to join the Discord server, download my free ebook. Or for the people who like to join my signals, follow all the trades that I take, any of the stuff that I'm doing with my money, it's going to get taught to you guys inside of my Discord server in the signals. So if you guys want to know what I'm doing, what I'm investing in, how I'm diversifying my portfolio in exact amounts, you guys need to go ahead and join. You can sign up on my website. Links are in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.